Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I want to show you how to make neighborhood pages on your website. Watch this. Hey, this video is dedicated to my friend, Darren Marion from Retail SEO, who actually taught me this secret. So it's my honor to show it to you. All right, guys, I hope everybody's doing great. So we want to get in this area. This is called the Google three pack. It's been called Google places in the past, Google my business and now Google business profile. I know it's hard to keep up, but we want to, we want to rock it right in here. We want to get in here, but the problem is here's the problem. There is sometimes hundreds of other businesses that are trying to get in this area, the area that you're trying to get in. But here's, here's the good news. The good news is that a lot of these business owners are sleeping. Some of them don't even know that they're in here. Uh, and the other ones, and the other ones uh, uh, are, are working very hard like yourself to get in here. But you know what? We're smarter than them and we're going to get in this area. Now I'm using locksmith as a, um, I'm using locksmith as an example today, but you know, you could be an electrician or a plumber, right? I say the same thing all the time. It doesn't matter what your industry, it doesn't matter what your industry is. We're just going to swap it out. Okay, so guys, here's the whole thing, right? So we're in our office right at 1010 Main Street and we type in locksmith near me and we show up in the Google three pack. I call it the Google three pack or Google Maps, right? We show up right here. However, when we take a ride down whatever the street is, 60, and we go west and we end up in Clearwater, right? Well, we go over this bridge over here. Now we do a search and we can't be found. Now ABC Locksmith or Clearwater Locksmith. Now they're not found anymore. And there's three reasons why you can't be found. And today we're going to go, we're going to go over the first reason, which is your website. If you, if you want to do business in Clearwater, this area right here, and you're late and you're located somewhere around this area in the right hand corner, you need to have a page on your website that says you do business in Clearwater. All right. You need a page on your website. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do the page. I'm going to show you exactly how to do the page. You're going to have to, you know, change the template around to, you know, to, to the template you use, but you're going to put in all the elements that I speak to you about today, right? So if you want to be found in this area, but you're located over here, you need to have a page on your website that shows Google that you do business in this area. Now, the second thing you need to do is go to your Google business profile and you need to add into your Google business profile that you do business in Clearwater. If that's uh, creating events or putting uh, Google posts or adding it to your bio, right? In your bio, you, you know, you, you're able to add different things, you, different areas that you, could, that you do work in and the services that you provide, right? You want to fill your Google business profile. And then the last thing you want is you want reviews. You need somebody standing in this area saying that you used, that they used your locksmith service or your plumbing service or your DUI service, whatever you do, right? You need somebody standing in this area saying that, leaving you a review saying, hey, I used Frank's DUI service from, uh, you know, Frank Lawyer, and uh, they were affordable and professional and on time and speak about the case a little bit, you know, as much as people want to speak about it. And that's how you leave a review, right? So I said in yesterday's video, if you don't get a chance, please look at yesterday's uh, video. What I said was to create a small card and put all your facts on the card. And, and when somebody leaves you a re a re is going to leave you a review, give them that card so they could put the name of your firm, the service that they used, where they used it, it would also be good if they were able to squeeze in one of the areas in your area. So, for example, they may say they're from Prospect Towers in Clearwater. 
that's a real good signal to Google, letting, letting Google know uh, where the person is by mentioning areas. It, but it has to be appropriate. So, for example, for a plumber, it would be appropriate to mention prospect towers. Or if it was a DUI, you got, you got pulled over in front of prospect towers. Right? You, you got to be a little bit creative with that. I hate to always bring up DUI. just had a friend who had some issues with that. I guess that's what's on my mind right now. Okay? So you get the idea. Three things, guys. You need a page on your website. You need to edit in your Google business profile. And your reviews need to come from somebody actually standing in this area, leaving you a review, and maybe mentioning a couple of a couple of uh, landmarks in this area, as well as the service that they used, right? You want to say ABC Electric. You want to see. You want to say uh, uh, cleaned up wires if you're trying to rank for new wiring, right? Commercial wiring or something, whatever the keyword is, right? They have to mention that keyword in the review. A review that ABC Electric is great or they're great does nothing for your rankings. They actually have to mention the keyword. I know a lot of you guys know that, right? So let me show you how to create the perfect, perfect um, areas we serve page. Hey guys, so I'm going to teach you how to create the perfect areas we serve page on your website. All I ask is that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and, and try to watch to the end because that's part of the uh, algorithm. All right? Thanks a lot, guys. All right, guys. So if you want to be found in different areas, different cities, uh, 5, 10, 15, maybe 20 miles away, you need to create pages on your website within a circle around where you registered your business, go out about five or 10 miles, find a neighborhood or a city, and, and you wanna try to create a page like this. It doesn't have to look like this, it should just have all the elements in it, right? So it doesn't matter if you put your store hours or your contact information in this box, or you have it on the bottom, that doesn't matter. But what it matters is that you have the details. So for example, if you don't have a store, but you have a shop, or you have an agency, you change that word, and you put information like this, right? If there are certain features that you that you have for, we used Clearwater as that place that was far away, right? Certain features, like for example, we'll drive out to you or you could drive to us or, um, you know, it really depends on your, on, on, on what you do, right? So if there's something special you do for that area, that would be your agency, office, store, service features for that area. Okay, we're going to scroll down a little bit. These are some, um, these are, this is an event that they're having. So they're having an, an appliance event that is just in the Pinellas Park area. So once again, we're using Clearwater as that place that's far away. You may be in, you know, Los Angeles or you may be in New York City, right? But you're trying to rank in Midtown. So, so you may have an event going on where you want to bring people from that area to your store or you may you may have the event going to their place of business or their home right so you could add uh, uh agency office shop right whatever the home depot whatever name your business appliance event right uh, uh dui event right and you could put a little something about that. All we're trying to do is we're trying to show Google, I hope you guys get this, is that we're trying to show Google that for that specific area, we have an event just for that area. How many people will check your website and, and look for the event on that website, on that particular page, you know, read between the lines there, okay? Now, 
These are sponsored products. These are products just for that area that are that appear to sell the most in that area. This is trending in your neighborhood. Another good idea. Now, for Home Depot, they say, did, did you know? So, do you have some stuff in your neighborhood or the area that you're trying to service? Did you know? Right? Uh, did you know that we come out to you? Did you know that we offer free estimates in clear water? Did you know, right? And, 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 and you just list a couple of did you knows. Over here are store features. Maybe you have agency features, office features for your accounting firm, right? Taxes, uh, 1099s, 1040s, right? Whatever, whatever features you have to offer just for that, for your business. This is the store detail, right? This is for store detail. Now you're talking about your store and then you want to talk about and then you want to talk about how you service that other area. Here's a here's some FAQs. So get, you know, five FAQs about about your area and what you do. I know it seems like a lot of work, guys. I know it does, but you really got to spend the time. What you got to do is you should be replaying this part of the video and then just writing it down on a pad, right? You should get a pad. You should draw out what you what, what you want your template to look like if you want it to look like the Home Depot site, right? You want to you want to draw that that page out and then you want to list all the features of that page. You want to list all the features of that page. Okay? Here's a map of their different uh, stores. You may just have one store, but maybe you do business in these different areas. So, you know, you could, you could, you could create a map with pins on it. There's plenty of videos on how to create maps with, uh, with pins on, on YouTube. I don't feel like I need to do that, but you know, you could just check that out. Now here's something that's really important. What they did here, and I really love this is what they did here is they took, they took all the reviews only for this store. So if you have multiple locations, right? What they did is they took, they embedded all the reviews just for this location on this particular page. So if you have three or four GMBs and you have a page for each GMB, what they did was they took, they took, uh, all the reviews just for the Pinellas Park location and embedded only the Pinellas Park reviews on this page. Now this is when you have multiple GMBs. Uh, if you just have one GMB, it's okay. You can dump them all into one spot. It's okay. Right? So they have 661 reviews just in Pinellas Park. Okay. Another thing, you know, definitely testimonials, reviews. I made some other notes here. You know, your contact information, geographical details, maps, right? The list of services. We, we spoke about that on the left hand over here, right? These are store features. This could be list of list of your services or service offerings, right? If there's a place where you want to put your prices, you could do that, right? If you, for example, if you have a, a, a fee for coming out to Clearwater or coming out to Midtown, you know, New York, right? So guys, this is, this is an idea, right? I, I, I can't create the perfect template because every one of your websites are different, right? You create websites and, and, and your website is different. But what, what I'm hearing from people when I speak with people is I ask, what areas of service pages do you have? And people don't even know what I'm talking about. They're like, what do you, what do you mean? That's why I'm making this video, right? You're like, what do you mean? I said, well, for every area that you service, you need to have a page on your website to say specifically what you do in that area. How do you service that area? And then you need to add it to your Google business profile. You need to add what you do and where you do it to your Google business profile. And then you need reviews. You need people to actually say, I was in Clearwater and I ordered Joe's uh, plumbing service and he unclogged my sink. You thought I was going to say toilet bowl, right? Yeah. <laughs> All 
All right. So, so that's it. That's what you do. So you don't have to make your page look like this. Just add in the elements that, that, that we spoke about. Add in the elements. You may also, here's an idea. You may want to put like over here, uh, conveniently located. And then you put in, you put in all the like the state parks, the statues, the bridges. Right? Conveniently located. And you just add all the things that are just specific to that area. Maybe there's a library, police precinct, bridge, a uh, 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 statue. Um, what else? Monuments. Uh, landmarks, right? Conveniently located. And then you... Now, if you want to take it another step, you could do driving directions to it. But look, we don't want to go down a rabbit hole. We got better things to do. We got to try to make some of these pages. But this is like, this is, these are really, really good ideas. There's no perfect science. There's nobody that's going to come out here and say, hey, do exactly this and you're going to rank, right? It needs three things. You need, you need it on your website. You need the information in your Google business profile. And you need reviews with somebody standing in that area mentioning what you did for them. Guys, did we rock it out today? I mean, come on. Put in the, if you lasted this long, it put in the uh, comment section, we rocked it out. Because we did. We did. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm not ashamed to say it. We rocked it out. Guys, I hope everybody has a great day. I want you to be good. Be good to your family, you SOP. Be good to your family. I say be good to your family, and you listen, and you're listening to this, but you're not going over. You're not kissing your wife. You're ignoring your kids, right? Come on, don't do that. Don't do that. Be nice. Kiss your wife. Kiss your kids. Clean up around the house. When was the last time you took out the garbage? When was the last time you made the bed? When was the last time you cleaned the bathroom? Right? Help out a little bit, please. Please, help out. Help out a little bit. You want things to go well in your house? Help out a little bit. I know you're trying to make this business work. It's very, very hard. Uh, but you're doing it, man. You're doing it. That's one thing I could say, man. You're doing it. You are doing it. I know it seems like an uphill battle, but man, you watched this video today. You watched it to the end. And you learned a bunch of stuff that you didn't know before, and you're going to implement it. Don't forget to implement it. No good just to know something and not implement it. But you can implement what I said today. And then you're going to add it to your Google business profile. Then you're going to get like five or ten reviews in that area. And then you're going to rank. And then you're going to make money. Then you can take your kids out to eat and your wife. You can take your family out to eat or your friends. And when the bill comes, you go, I got it. Everybody's going to be, what? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. And that's what I want from you. I want you to be happy. That's it. If there's something I could do, you see my number over here. Just shoot me a text. You just want to say hello. That's cool. Just say hello. That's good. All right, guys. Guys, I wish you the best, and we're going to catch you tomorrow. Rock it out.